Starting off the year with some excellent pickups, I've got all sorts of stuff here. I've got a couple pairs of Nikes, something I picked up in store from Concepts. Obviously, we got some apparel in here. Got something from Carhartt, Ralph Lauren, New Balance, Merrill, Uniqlo, more Carhartt, and a crazy jacket. A lot to get into, let's do it. All right, where are we going first? Check out this hoodie that I got from Merrill. This mountain range Sherpa fleece hoodie, come on. This is incredible. It's an affordable pickup. I think it's right around 60 or 70 bucks. It may have been on sale. By the way, everything I'm showing you here is gonna be linked down in the description. This is a fun statement piece and this is the type of stuff that gets me through the winter. I don't wanna just you know, pack it in and wear boring stuff that I don't like and just wait till the spring or the summer. No, I embrace the winter months and I have fun with it. And this is a way that I do it. Next up, I have a pickup from Concepts. I got this in store. I visited their Boston location on Newbury Street. Always a pleasant experience when I can stop by Concepts and they actually gifted these to me. And they're a pair of Pumas, but they're not your regular Pumas. These are from the Puma Archive and they are as clean as it gets. This model is called the Easy Rider. And by the way, this is how you wrap suede shoes. They just wrap the entire sneaker. So we've got the premium version of the Easy Rider. Now, this is not your regular pair of Pumas. You can't get these on the Puma website. They're only in select retailers, including Concepts. Look at the shape on this shoe. I absolutely love them. They're very simple, they're subtle, and I just did a video on sneakers that you can wear to work. And if you're a sneakerhead and you have a lot of pairs and you wanna wear certain shoes to the workplace, this is gonna be the perfect pair to do that in. It's gonna go with everything and it is premium. Look at the form stripe on here. That is a nice leather. And then you've got a gum sole. They retail for 110 bucks, so not bad at all. Extra backup off-white laces that I will definitely be throwing in there. And this is a jogging shoe from the 70s. And they've been brought back to life. I'll for sure link these for you guys down in the description. And if you've never checked out Concepts in Boston, you gotta do that. Okay, let's get back into some apparel. Carhartt, work in progress. I got a few things from them. These were my two favorites and they're great. These are two things that I can wear often right here. First, this is called the Car Lux Vest. I wish that I got one of these sooner. They're lightweight. It's like a sweat pant material almost. And then here we've got a quarter zip track jacket. Look at this color combo right here with this nice light blue, a moss and a burgundy, a little bit of black throughout. And this is Carhartt work in progress, not your standard Carhartt stuff. And how about this combo right here? This is going to be perfect. I might throw this on as soon as some of this snow melts. I'm hyped on this guy. And then maybe I throw on something from Uniqlo. We've got some light gray French Terry sweats. You know, I'm pretty good on gray sweats, but when I saw these, for one, it's a French Terry, so in the spring, it's gonna be a little bit more breathable, but the stripes on the side absolutely make these. They take them from a basic pair of gray jogger sweats to a little bit more athletic looking. I actually do have a few more pickups from Uniqlo. These guys are the only ones in the video because I'm gonna do an entire haul. I'm sure you see these Gore-Tex Air Max 90s right here. I'm gonna do a little bit of talking about them, so I'll save them for the end, but I have another Nike pickup. You knew there was gonna be a sleeper in here. There had to be a sleeper. This might be the year that I get back into the Air Max 97. Check these out. We got a rugged orange, khaki cargo, and phantom. They are on sale right now, and I'll link them for you guys. I love how the white pops. One thing that absolutely makes these is the laces. They are awesome. They're speckled and a little bit of green on there. They almost have a little bit of outdoors ACG Gorp core to them, but they're not. They're obviously an Air Max 97 and no one's hiking in them, but they've got that feel, especially with that ripstop up top there. Speaking of outdoor gorp core trail stuff, check out this New Balance tee that I picked up. It is expensive. This is a $70 t-shirt. It's made in USA. That's why it's a little bit more expensive. But when I saw this graphic, I'm like, yep, that is going down. And then Ralph Lauren. Wow, this is an absolute banger. This is a Western style button up shirt. I've always wanted to get a Western style shirt like this, but 
Some of them were just uh, a little bit too cowboy for me. This is what sold me, the bear fly fishing. He is just in Montana right now living his best life. This is just a fun shirt. I wanna wear this often. Okay, next up I have something absolutely wild. This is a long, very long, down puffer jacket. It's from CMC Labs. I needed something to wear while walking the dog in the morning. It's been like super cold. So if it's 10 degrees out and I wanna be warm and I just need something that's gonna feel like a blanket when I'm out there, the inside has a gold lining and it also has these straps. Not the visual you were expecting in this video, but uh, here we are. It has all sorts of features that as I threw it on, I was noticing and it's just a good jacket. So if you're out there walking a dog in the morning before work and you need something that's gonna block the wind and the chill, it's a decent option. So let's get into these, the Air Max 90 Gore-Tex edition. So here's the deal, I've been eagerly waiting for a pair of these. You've probably seen a few different colorways of the Gore-Tex Air Max 90s. I've almost grabbed a pair here and there, but I, I just didn't do it, especially because of the sizing. And I'll get into that in one second, but this is actually not an infrared version, even though it couldn't be any more similar. I believe they're calling this bright crimson. So here's a quick comparison. This is the Gore-Tex bright crimson edition. And then these are the, the real infrareds and they are very similar. These released and they didn't sell out right away. And unfortunately I didn't grab three pairs. I wish I had three pairs of this shoe. This is the best Air Max 90 ever. I basically jumped at these thinking it was another chance to get a shoe like this. The Gore-Tex is just a nice added bonus, especially where I'm at. Okay, enough with that. Sizing. Let's talk about sizing real quick because I've seen a lot of information out there about how these fit. So my true size is an 11 and a half, but I've been buying a lot of 12s recently. I'd say like my true size is 11.8. I'm in between an 11 and a half and a 12. So I've been buying a 12 for a little bit of extra room. And then I've heard that these are very stiff and they're tight, so you wanna go up a half a size. So Nike actually had these in a 12 and a half, which is what I got. This might be one of the only 12 and a halves that I have in my collection. And when I tried these on, they felt a little bit big. So I could have gone true to size. It is stiff around the ankle area and probably takes a little bit of time to break in because of that Gore-Tex. Stick with your normal Air Max 90 size, you'll be fine. Wear them a couple times, they will break in. Now these that are a little bit big on me, I'm gonna wear with some wool socks, so they'll be fine as well. It's not really the, a big deal. Oh yeah, the outsole is pretty awesome too. So I will link these for you guys down in the description as well as those Pumas that you can get from Concepts for 110 and anything else that I find. Make sure you subscribe if you are new around here. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and you like to see a random assortment of stuff. A lot more content on the way. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.